Covering Colorado first and Longmont for you, where an affordable housing development has become a national model. Sadly, thousands of those who serve our country are homeless. But as Sean Boyd shows us, this development is giving one veteran a home and hope. Located on 80 acres of land overlooking the Front Range, the Mountain Brook community in Longmont has all the amenities new home buyers expect. And one that developer Kevin Molshine admits he not only didn't expect, but had never seen until a few years ago. He would volunteered to help the city of Longmont build transitional housing for homeless veterans, but kept running into resistance from neighbors. Somebody in the city, they said, why don't you put it in your next development? And we said, you can't because it's never been done in the country, a homeless, uh, transitional homeless facility within a new home community. To prove how crazy the idea was, Molshine visited cities that had tried the concept. His last stop, the Veterans Community Project in Kansas City. It changed our opinion to say, instead of this being a negative or a stigma that could impact negatively on sales in a community, we thought, you know, maybe Longmont, Boulder, Colorado is ready for an amenity called Compassion. Molshine returned to Longmont and donated land in Mountain Brook, where the Veterans Community Project is building 26 tiny homes for homeless vets like Michael Falcon. A Navy veteran and recovering alcoholic, he says he attempted suicide six months ago after years of living on the street. This place is a second chance. He not only has his own place now, but his own caseworker. They help you with with stating what your goals are. His fellow veterans help too. It's a vill like a little village, so we, we interact with each other, but if things get a little too intense, we got our own place to go to, chill out for a little bit. Not only has the transitional housing not hurt sales in Mountain Brook, Molshine says it's helped. The builders over there will tell us it's one of their top selling communities in the state. When you have people that are willing to protect me with their lives, you know, I, I owe them so much. Falcon is one of four veterans to move in here so far. Most will stay one to two years and receive help with everything from accessing VA benefits to health care, budgeting to job training. The Veterans Community Project says almost all of the labor for the houses here is donated, as is their funding. If you'd like to help, we've provided information on CBSNewsColorado.com. In Longmont, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Sean.